हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन्फॉर्मेटिका पावर सेंटर लाइक वॉट ऑल वैलिडेशन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका एज एन ई टी एल टेस्टर ओके सो इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी दैट यू शुड नो इन्फॉर्मेटिका बिकॉज ऑल ऑर्गनाइजेशन आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट ई टी एल टूल सम ऑर्गनाइजेशन आर यूजिंग इन्फॉर्मेटिका अदर्स आर यूजिंग लाइक डेटा स्टेज and some are using simply stored procedure to for data load okay so um it's not like that uh, it's mandatory that as an etl tester you should know informatica if any of the tool you know uh, like data stage or even if you are aware of like how data is loading through stored procedure it's um, i mean okay because ultimately they will just ask you the uh, like uh, flow like how uh, you are working in your project and the sql queries okay so um uh, to test uh, everything on informatica first you have to install few things like oracle and sql developer uh, and informatica server and informatica client so or here oracle is a database and sql developer is a gui tool through which we can query uh, data uh, in S uh, in oracle okay so uh, after installing all this tool you would be able to connect to informatica so i have installed all these uh, tools now you could see that that r icon is coming here so just click on it that is a, a power center repository manager okay so what all uh, folders uh, dev team is creating you could uh, easily find it under the repository okay so here uh, i have created one repository rep so in case you are going to test any um, workflow you need to first check the, with your dev team which repository you have to refer so right now it is not connected okay so first um, right click on it and connect it but before that you have to check whether the informatica is running or not okay so just click on the settings sorry uh, just click on the services so here you could see that so many applications are running so just scroll down and search for informatica yes so informatica is already running okay so now you have to connect to that repository so right click and you need to um, give the username and password so here the username is password that i have provided and i have to give the password now connect it so here uh, you could see that uh, two folders are there like training and training one so i have created two folders um, uh, training and training one so uh, just click on the folder that is given by your uh, dev team okay so here you could see that uh, all the source and target mapping workflow all the details you could uh, find it under the repository okay so in source basically means uh, in source we are uh, fetching the data from the employee table and in target we are loading the employee uh, table uh, data to the target t underscore employee one okay so uh, just go to the sql developer okay so here i have created uh, two uh, databases one is the hr and the second one is the core so basically we are loading data here from hr to core so here hr is our hr db is source and core is our target target db 
so basically we are loading data from um, hr1 hrdb to uh, core db okay so in sql developer you could see that uh, i have created two databases core and hr so in hr1 uh, see uh, how many uh, records we have under the employee table we having approx uh, 107 records are present okay here 107 records are already exist in the employee one so we are taking employee table as a source and now we have to load the data into the core db that is a uh, under the t underscore employee so uh, first check whether any records present in that uh, table or not so uh, right now it's empty t underscore employee is blank it has no record now through informatica we have to load the data from uh, that employee table to uh, uh, hr uh, database to code db okay under this uh, table that is t underscore employee now we have to first whatever mappings uh, dev team has created uh, you could find it all this structure here like source detail target details mapping workflow so under mapping uh, basically they are creating the uh, all the transformation and uh, but as a tester you have to run the workflows that you could uh, see here that is the name of the workflow is uh, workflow underscore test underscore mapping now um, here uh, uh, so uh, like R, D, W, M icons you are seeing. So just click on the D, uh, D1. That is a designer. Okay. Mapping designer. So um, this tool is basically used by the developer to, to create the mappings. Okay. So once you click on it, you could find it easily like what mapping uh, that dev team is created to load the data from employee table to T employee table. So that is a direct move you, uh, as all the columns are pointing to the same uh, target table. Okay, that employee to employee, first name to first name. So like that one, they are they have created um, the transformation rule. Okay, so I'll let you know some uh, icons as well. So that triangular icon is basically first uh, first one is the source analyzer that means um, the, uh, that source here is the HR table okay that I have shown you employee okay so whatever table structure we are seeing here same we um, you could see under that uh, source analyzer means uh, in employee tables uh, the primary key is employee id and one foreign key is also there that is a manager id so that is called a source analyzer now come to the target designer so that is a target table that they have created if you want to see the connection details go to the target now import from database so uh, here we are using um, the databases so that's why we have uh, selected uh, oracle one in case you are loading or uh, um, uh, loading or data from some other sources you have to select different uh, files like in case the source is excel you need to select the excel one okay like this way you have to uh, uh, check the details here in source and target analyzer okay now come to the transformation developer just click on it this is called a maplet de designer and the last one is the mapping designer okay so in mapping designer you can um, find it like how the data is moving from the source to target so these are the uh, mapping details so all the mapping related details um, you can find it under the mapping designer now go back to informatica one so i have explained you the designer now comes to the workflow manager so workflow manager is basically used to uh, uh, so suppose they have created one uh, workflow to load the data from the employee uh, to the employee table so they have created one workflow 
that is the name is uh, WFT mapping. So for testing purpose, you have to run that workflow only. So that workflow is already being um, created by the uh, developer. Now click on the uh, white space, right click on it and click on the start workflow. Okay, so once you click on it, data will get load from the this one. Uh, HR uh, DB to code DB. So right now we have no data. Okay, in the target system that is T employee. So let's run that workflow. So just right click on the white spaces and click on the start workflow. So that workflow um, uh, is running now. See, you can see that the status is succeeded, succeeded. So as an uh, ETL tester, you have to run the workflow and check whether the workflow executed successfully or not. So all this validation you have to uh, include in your test case. So now the status is succeeded. Now uh, you have to check the logs. So right click on it on the workflow. And uh, get uh, click on the get uh, session log so you have to check uh, that all these steps should run successfully without any error okay in case you want to find uh, any specific test you can uh, write it here like um, any text mm. so right now I have um, written emple so uh, the next text that i have uh, received is team employee now scroll down it because we have to check whether the all the data got loaded successfully or not so scroll down so all the logs you have to validate here so the load started at this time 14 12 this one and target uh, details is team employee okay like this way you have to read all the logs file now the query SQL query is here you can find it here now scroll down and the commit on end date so the data loaded successfully here and the uh, requested is um, so inserted rows are 107 applied 107 no rejected records are there so means data loaded successfully here now come to DB so first check how many records we have in our source so here 107 records are there in our source db that is hr now come to core db first check whether the data loaded successfully or not see now all the data got uh, inserted in the target tables now check the total count see the counts are matching now in source and target so after that you have to run all your um, uh, test cases like duplicate validation data count data correction all the details now uh, all the test cases you can now run under uh, source and target those validation you have to perform so these are the basic validation that we generally do in informatica Okay, so I hope it's clear now like uh, as an ETL tester what all validation we have to uh, cover in our test cases. So in case you have any doubt, so please do let me know. I'll try to um, answer all the queries. Okay, thank you. Bye.